Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to a special episode of T-D-D-D. Uh, what the heck are we playing? Why do I keep doing this? This is what I get for recording two things in one night. Uh, this is not survival-friendly builds. This is Let's Play Magical Minecraft. Uh, and it's just me here tonight. Fina is off having a night out with friends. But I wanted to record an episode anyway, and we can kind of get into that while I'm... While I'm puttering around, a couple things, a couple things, a lot of things I wanted to talk about here tonight. But uh, main thing is we're going to be leaving on vacation here shortly, so I'm trying to get a little bit of content saved up so that at least I can release some things while we're gone. And that water sounds so nice. Oh, it's just so relaxing. Ah. Yeah, so I wanted to record a few things so that we had some stuff to release while we're gone, and it doesn't look like we're going to have very much, but it's the best I can do. Um, <clears throat> today, today, let's do a quick recap here. How about that? We can start off with that. How about the tree? I redid the tree. Found out that the you can't micro-block those magical trees. What are they called? Not important. We're not going to worry about it right now. Anyway, you can't microblock them. So I went ahead and made it out of oak instead. This thing took me for flipping ever. Took quite a while. I'm happy with it. It looks really good. But it did take a lot of bit of work. A lot of bit of work. Wow. English. Use it. I was watching some, oh, some videos. One video in particular from B00. And he was building this massive tree. One thing he mentioned was he made all these branches come out and then covered them semi-randomly. Uh, and I kind of did mine semi-circular as well off the tips of all of these branches. Ooh, that's uh, some bad ephemerate. Sorry about that. Uh, so we go ahead and just fill off, fill in all the ends of these and then filled in the top center uh, the only thing different I really did was I draped all mine down and I did a lot more micro blocking. This, I, I wouldn't even want to hazard a guess how many micro blocks this thing is actually made of. But it turned out really good and I'm very happy with it. So the other thing that I've done uh, while I was kind of away and not recording lately with being ill and all that, um, I had strep throat. I still have strep throat, uh, but it's it's on the mend, and I'm just I'm on some wonderful antibiotics to clear all that horrible stuff up. We moved, we moved. I moved a whole bunch of stuff over here from the tower. Don't have to go back to the tower anymore. I'm done with the tower. This is it. We're we're staying here for a while. I got most of the stuff put in where I wanted to put it. I uh, started messing around with the black smith. Oh, did I change? Okay, yeah, the volume's not bad. Uh, I've got my specialty ores and whatnot in here, you know, a little, little upstairs. Nothing is done. This is just, it's just storage. I had to get all the stuff over here, which took quite a few trips, let's be honest. Uh, so we got our forge put in over here, and then in all of these towers, we've got all of them, some of them, we've got stuff. So let's take a quick tour through. Keep in mind, this is not finished. Don't you dare judge me. And we're, that seemed a little loud. Let's just drop that down a smidge more. Uh, don't judge me. My chests are still a mess. <clears throat> so we have our XP shower. You know, if you want to get some levels. Ah, that's the kind of shower I could go for in the morning. And we put in these elevators everywhere. Instead of having the stairways running from level to level to level, yes, it's more realistic. Yes, it's also more annoying to go up and down levels, so instead we've just put in the elevator system. I think we talked about that last time. I don't remember what we actually covered off. I really have no idea. So we've got our some of our Ars Magica stuff here for levels and our uncrafting benches, uh, our enchanting room, on the, and a whole bunch of our books, and empty chests, and whatnot. And then on the top floor is nothing. Again, these aren't done. And this is all going to move. I just had to get it all over here. This is all stuff I don't want to do on camera. Because that's just crazy talk. Uh, we have a brewing room. This is mostly done. We might have to put something on the walls. But 
for the most part done. Uh, on the next floor down is a melon room and on the bottom floor is a nether wart room. All right. So each of those levels are just uh, seven, eight blocks high and they go all the way down deep into the earth. Next tower, all oh, the leaves look so nice how they just kind of fall off of there. Oh, love it. Love it. Next level over, we have our repair room and our cooking room. <laughs> the Califactors. I don't remember. Yeah, you can cook stone or anything, really. Anything you can use in a furnace, except it doubles it all. Over on the far one, what was in this one? Oh, this is our portal room to get back to the tower and to Fina's place, which... What the heck did I got going on here? I didn't finish this. All in a work in progress. Nothing, nothing on the level down. Nope. Uh, oop, that's not the run button anymore. So what you get for jumping between modded and vanilla. I think this one is completely empty. Yeah, it is. Still working on it. So nice out here at nighttime. This one here is for crafting. So we've got our neutral altar on the top. We've got our crafting. It's kind of cramped in here, but again the biggest I made these things was 9x9 nine nine, so it's only a 7x7 seven seven on the inside uh, our crafting room for our Ars Magica stuff and a mm, light nexus <clears throat> and this just comes back down inside of the main room this will be that giant entrance room we still haven't started working on this I wanted to get everything else done the only thing I did decide I'm going to do is put in a whole bunch of these and put golden armor <laughs> All the way up to the uh, the thrones that we'll build up there eventually, or maybe just one throne. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, I haven't put anything on these little houses yet. I'll probably do these up as more realistic houses. All the towers are just they're functional, and that's it. They're not designed. They're not meant to look like anything. Um, but everything else, everything else, I think we'll try and make it a little more, a little more accurate. Yeah, yeah, those are all a mess. So that's that's the tower in a nutshell. So I think today we're going to go ahead and we're going to sleep at a first. I talked about wanting to put in a lake slash waterfall. Oh, I love that. That's so great. Put in a lake slash waterfall up here somewhere. So we'll probably clear out these trees and maybe put the waterfall off the side Jeez, a frame rate still waiting for fina to build those flowers for me but she hasn't been playing we've been really busy and i'm trying to get content out but real life just gets in the way so we can't always do it i do my best but it's not always good enough oh uh anyone we'll go ahead and get started on this i think i'm going to go ahead and queue up uh, Fina's account and just kind of do this as a third person maybe we'll accelerate it up here do it as a what do you call those things over time something done over time I'll see if we can get it to set up here hang on a second
Alrighty. Well, that about uh, sums that up. Um, still not sure how I'm going to do this whole thing, but we'll see what we can figure out. I know further down here we're going to end up putting in, you know, the cliche water wheel. We really need Fina to get rid of that stuff. It's such a pain in the backside to dig because it's... I don't know what it is about it. It's like... It's not... It doesn't matter if you use a pick or you use a shovel or you use a axe. It just takes for bloody ever. Where's dig? I got a, I got a dig spell. Maybe I can use that. Oh, no, that's not. I guess probably should select this spell. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's not arranged. Do I even have to? Ha 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 ha! There we go. This is more like it. This could work. Uh, except for that loud kind of booming. So we won't do that to you guys. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, as I mentioned, there is a couple things that I wanted to talk about earlier. Um, one of them was subscriptions. I kind of went around and I thinned. Is this going to work? Okay, yeah. That's, that's better. And I thinned out all my scripts. I... Uh, I used to subscribe to pretty much everybody on the Mindcrack server and a whole bunch of those guys on the Hermitcraft server uh, as well as a bunch of other the the bigger name people like you know let's the I, I know some of these people play on those servers, but you know, Corallus and uh, Generic B and Etho. And I, I watched all their videos for the most part for a long time. And then I just, for whatever reason, oh, there we go. That's what I wanted it to do. Oh, that's much better. Uh, I just stopped. I don't know why. I just, it's almost like I just kind of lost interest in them. And then I started doing this whole YouTube thing and I started watching all these other people that new people people that I haven't seen before and they're kind of trying to do the same thing I'm doing or I'm trying to do the same thing they're doing more likely and I find that they're a lot more entertaining to watch and I don't think it's just that you know I'm not saying that oh hey new people put out way better content than the experienced people out there that's not what I'm getting at I'm not saying they put out bad content either. I just prefer to watch it. I think a big chunk of that is because I can get a response from them. If I comment on somebody's video, somebody's going to comment back and say, you know, hey, thanks for the comment, yada, yada, yada. You know, this is, you know, liked your stuff too, or uh, thanks for the feedback. And you can actually interact. If I send a message to somebody like B00 who's got, what, a million subscribers, he's never going to respond to me. Because he gets spammed and it's just it's not realistic for me to expect him to respond so I'd rather watch people that I can interact with so now I'm starting to understand why twitch TV is so popular um, I mean you have all these people why are you not lining up don't be like that um, I understand why it's why it's so popular because you can you can actually talk to and and play with these people pick their brain these people that you like why is, are you not going to work because you're oh I'm such a noob when it comes to water I should have filled this all in and then dug it out after the fact everybody who wants to do this lesson learned so what I'm getting at is I'm not watching those guys anymore or I'm really I'm, I'm not very often uh, I still subscribe to a few of them because I, I do like some of the series that they do. But for the most part, um, I'm not. I'm just, I'm not watching their stuff. I have very limited time to play. And I have very limited time to watch. And I just don't feel like... If I'm going to watch somebody, why don't I help support somebody that's doing the same thing I am. Instead of the guy who's already got a million subs. You know, is, is one more view going to make his day? No, it's not. Is one more view going to make a small channel's day? Absolutely. 
I get excited over every view, over every sub, over every comment. Is that going to work? That worked. Why'd that work? Who? Who knows why water worked? Oh, it filled into there, but why didn't it go the rest of the way? Rats. Oh, oh no, that's no good. I don't want that. Uh, take it from over here. Maybe there? Oh! <gasps> yes! Oh, thank you so much for working. I don't want this to get too wide, though. Her. Uh, anyway, so speaking of smaller channels and people getting feedback and whatnot, uh, I, I love getting feedback. You know, I, even if it's not good feedback, constructive criticism is great. I have a very hard time leaving it for other people because a lot of the people that I watch have more subs than I do, which, hey, let's be honest, that doesn't take much. Um, we've got, like, I think 24 subs right now. So we're, we're almost at the, the 25 goal mark. And then after that, it'll be 50. That's, uh, hopefully, we, we will get there someday, but we're not holding our breath. And we're not in this just for subs either. Uh, the Kind of the whole point of starting this thing that we did, I'm really just kind of jumping topics, but deal with it. Uh, <laughs> the reason we kind of got into this is we really enjoyed watching other people's stuff and figured that, hey, Maybe, maybe it's something we could do too, and other people would enjoy what we do. And we're playing the game anyway, so why not have a little bit of fun with it while we're doing it? There's a little more sand around there on that side. It's got no sand. Um, what was I talking about? Feedback. Anyway, so you you watch these other people, and you think, oh, you know what? You could have probably done that better, or maybe you could try this, but you know what, you're somebody who has twice as many or three times or four times as many subs as I do, so who am I to tell you? Because I'm only a noob. So I find it hard to leave any any feedback at all. And I find I'm not... Should that be stone? No, no stone. Er, let's get rid of the chicken, and we need some gravel back. I like my gravel. I'm just trying to clean this up, the whole edge of this, and make it feel a little more organic. I hope I'm doing a good job of that, but... We'll see. Maybe less gravel. Less gravel, more sand. And you no know, dirt turns into grass <laughs> anyway. <laughs> sure. Um, so I don't know. What's what's the standard protocol on that? Can is it okay to? So as long as it's done in a nice way, I'm not gonna you know get on somebody's channel and tell them, hey, you're an idiot and you're doing this all wrong. But if you had more subscribers than somebody else, would you? listen to what the person had to say or would you just kind of yeah whatever I don't need your your input I don't know hard, hard for me to say uh, so on this whole follower and subscriber line I, we got on to Twitter a little while ago uh, not that long this looks kind of silly um, not that long ago but long enough and I've noticed there's a lot of channels out there that'll just kind of favorite and subscribe to everything in an effort to gain followers. Holy crap, does that ever drive me crazy? People need to stop doing that. Like these brand new channels, or be it channels that favorite your stuff, and they, they have no interest in what you're doing. They're just doing it to try and get you to subscribe to their stuff. That drives me crazy. You know what? If you want to subscribe to something, then sub to it. If you don't, then don't. But don't try and get people to... Anyway, you know what I'm saying. It's just... It's it's not real. Why why are you trying to get people to... It's like if you had a whole bunch of subs and none of them watched your videos. What's the point of having the subs if they're not going to watch your content? Uh, I'd rather have another view, personally, but... I mean, it's not to say that the sub isn't a good thing, but the views and the comments especially, you know, that's what... That's what I'm after, anyway. No, not for fame. Let's be honest. I have, uh, I've got a full-time job. I've got two kids that I love dearly. I have a wife that I adore and I love to spend time with. And I'm never going to do this as a full-time gig. I have a full-time career that I very much enjoy. And this is a this is a hobby. This is fun. And I'd never want to 
change that and convert it into work because I think it would be very very easy to have this stop being fun personally that was just another observation that I'd had along the way how is that gonna work now I really want this to my fly spell still on nope let's not jump off the cliff then oops let's wait for that to expire because it's not gonna last long enough okay there we go nine minutes perfect um, it's too smooth isn't it not too smooth does it look like a natural waterfall love the water particles how they come off of that part of the tropicraft mod if you don't have it I suggest getting it um, if you want your world to stay intact you might want to disable the fact that tornadoes can hit you I'm still waiting to see one in this world they are turned on they're not disabled and I'm going to be really sad if it destroys that tree at some point. Uh, but I'll live. So I mentioned that we're going on vacation. We're heading away. Right now we live in New Brunswick, Canada. And we're taking our two small children and heading to Florida to Disney World to watch my sister get married. My baby sister that I haven't seen in almost five years. Oop. Right, right. Yeah, it's been like, f yeah, five years this summer since I've seen her. And uh, so we're really excited to get together and hang out with her and her fiance. We haven't even met him before. She lives in Toronto and uh, we don't. So when she was in school, we don't really get a chance to, to chit chat much, but we talk on Facebook and Skype and keep in contact loosely not as often as we really should and that's I think mainly my fault good set up this spell but we're going down there to see them so we're not gonna have a whole lot of stuff to put out for the next couple weeks we're down there for I think we're gonna be gone for like nine ten days so I'm just trying to get this done here and uh, that'll come out of the grate underneath that I think so we got the that's the one that has the shower in it so there should be a grate underneath it. We can have water running underneath it, and then it comes out here, like the sewer system or something. Oh no, because it goes into the drinking water. Okay, not not a sewer system, just just a little river coming out of there. I don't know why I said that. Um, so hopefully we'll have something to put out here. What was I talking about before? I have a terrible train of thought as I'm trying to do two things at once. You guys noticed that earlier if you watch any of my. Put these up here. Does that look organic? I think it's more sand. It's too spattered. It's too, it's too, sh too sposh. Too sposh, says I. Let's get rid of some more of this grass and put in more, more sand. Less stone, too. Shouldn't be stone around the edge of a lake, eh? Or, I said I want to make a lake. This is a pond, let's be honest. It is a disgusting, disgusting exaggeration to call this a lake. Um, yeah, so we talked about we talked about the channels that I stopped following. Uh, so the ones that I am following now, uh, or su I'm sub to, I keep getting Twitter and this YouTube thing mixed up. Um, there's a couple channels that I really, really enjoy watching their stuff. Some of them I've only seen a few of their videos so far because, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time to watch, but when I do, I tend to binge on one particular channel until I run out of their stuff. Uh, so I got a couple of them wrote down here just so I wouldn't forget them and this is by not me by any means not all the ones I look at but uh, just the ones that I've been kind of watching here lately and uh, so the first one was uh, Ben Ben Lemon lemonade lemon I always want to call him lemonade but I think it's Ben Lemon he's got he's this tiny tiny little channel he's got like five subs or something but I like his PvP stuff the commentary in it, especially when he's by himself, is uh, rather amusing. I like it. So, hey, keep doing that and I'll keep watching it. <laughs> um, and then from... There was a guy called Jayseed. He's more of a... He's an adult guy like myself. He's... I think he runs a server. I don't know if he runs it or if he just plays on it. But they do the Attack of the BT mod pack, which is this like crazy mad scientist mod pack. And uh, he builds some neat stuff. 
I, I, I like, I think they're working on this this baseball stadium right now, which is actually starting to look really, really good. Um, so suggest checking him out if you, oops, don't drown underwater. Bad idea. Uh, if you like some of the building kind of stuff. And then through him, I found a guy called Derp Tater. And that's a father that plays with his daughter, which awesome. I love when families play games together. It's hilarious. It reminds me of like uh, a Paul Soros Jr. kind of thing. It looks too sandy at the bottom now, or it needs to be more sand. We need to get rid of all the stone and add sand. Okay, we'll have maybe we'll do that later. Um, so Derp Tater, J Seed, Ben Lemon. Oh, uh, CP Games. They're not Minecraft people though, or they they are, but not exclusively by any like of the imagination. They play a bunch of other games, too. Uh, there are a couple young guys. Oh god, and I'm horrible with locations and whatnot. I think they're British. <laughs> really gonna feel like a jerk if I got that wrong I took a stab at it hey at least I tried um, anyway they do uh, they play all these little games and they do face cam while they do it and some of their reactions is uh, are, are pretty funny so I like watching them and then the last one that I've been watching a bit of lately is uh, in Anesia 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 she says it in her video, and I've mispronounced it. Way to go. You're a jerk. Uh, no, it shouldn't be under there like that. That should be stone. That should be, that should be stone. That doesn't make any sense. There we go. That can be there. That's all right. A little bit of variation. Uh, so she does some really actually cool builds, too. And uh, she just started playing... Oh, God, what the heck's the name of the game? Oh... Now I can't remember. I've never played it and always wanted to play it. So I can kind of play it, watch it vicariously through her? That doesn't sound weird, right? Good. If it does, don't tell me. Because I already said it. And posted this on YouTube. It can't be undone. So yeah, just uh, props to their channels. I like what you do, and I'm going to keep watching if you keep doing the same kind of stuff and keep putting out content. So, thanks. For entertaining me. I had a whole other list of stuff I was going to talk about here too, but I can't remember half of it. Let me put these reeds kind of around the edge. We'll probably... I can't get them there, can I? Uh, darn. Maybe we'll put like five high and three high and two high. And we'll put a piece of string on top of it to stop it from growing. And we'll make this one four high. Kind of scatter this whole side of the lake with, with reeds. What was that? With reeds. Because I like my reeds. Uh, put more on there, on there. Some people really hate doing the string trick. Uh, I hope everybody knows what that is, because if not, it's really cool. If you only want these to stay one high forever, just to have a certain look, you can just put a piece of string on top of it and it'll stop growing. Same with vines. You hang vines off of something and then you can just kind of click on the edge of them as they are coming down you can stop them from growing any further by putting a piece of string under it downside is you have a piece of string that's kind of floating up in the air there but from a distance you never even notice it really so uh anywho uh, let's make that one three high and four high and two high with a piece of string and one high and make this one tall too. Make this one tall. Five high. There we go. How's that look? That looks alright. Let's get some lilipads. So I'm gonna do all this other stuff again. Fix this up off camera, make it look proper and nice. Because right now this is just usually my quick little go-to. That's probably too many lily pads. That doesn't look right. They should just be down because the current should. If this was realistic at all, would carry it over there, would it not? Maybe? I think it would. So they should only be at this end. I'm going to put a few more. There we go. Yeah. Alright, so I'll fix up the rest of this off camera another time. And uh, that'll be it until we get back... F Why am I getting pushed? <gasps> Is there about to be a tornado? Why 
Why is there wind? I'm getting pulled. Was I? Oh, 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 jeez, don't, not the light spell. I want, I want my fly spell. I'm about to get hit by a tornado. I got a feeling. Why is all the wind blowing this way? I'm moving. I don't see anything. Maybe I'm not moving. Oh, I panicked for nothing. Cause I don't, I don't see any clouds. Why? I'm not touching the keyboard here. Or is the wind just very gently pushing me? I never noticed that before. I hope that's gentle pushing. Because I, I know that tornadoes can spawn and it's going to destroy my home. Oh, I'm scared. No, no, okay. We're, we're good. We would have seen some clouds or something by now. I don't even know if I have clouds turned on. That doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you all in a few weeks. Hopefully, uh, I'll have all this stuff kind of... Am I getting moved again? Man, I'm telling you, this... I feel like there's a tornado coming. Let's go. Oh. Why are you changing directions like that? This has got me freaked out. Why is the wind changing direction so much? Uh... All right, well, if anything happens, I'll turn the recording back on. Until next time, guys, uh, take care and uh, take off my glasses. And I hope to see you again. Bye.